This is another installment on the hot water reservoir construction and just showing you the progress in the next step. So I have the walls constructed. Um, I realized that rodents could get under it so I packed anywhere that they might be able to get underneath with road base. And then I have, I just threw this strap insulation that I have had laying around in here the other night, um, but I'll replace it all with brand new. Um, it's 9 inch R30 attic insulation. I'll probably do double layer on the top and single layer plus R13 on the walls. And so what I did in here is to put a large sheet of plastic that drapes all the way across the entire surface and comes up the edge. You can see it kind of sticking up into the air over there on the far side and here it is here taped off to hold it. So that puts a barrier um, that prevents water evaporation which is energy loss and it also just keeps the water in where the water is and um, keeps the insulation dry. You can see maybe um, there's condensation. Um, this is the inside of that plastic layer. And when I seal this off, this will just seal so that there's no um, vapor path. And then I'll put a deck up on top here after I get it all insulated. I'm going to put the radiant foil. This is um, aluminum coated on both sides. It's mylar with an aluminized coating, so it's a radiant heat transfer uh, barrier. And I'll put a layer of that under against the water and another layer on top of the insulation. And then probably, well, no, I won't put another layer of plastic on top of that. If there was any water in, in the insulation for any reason, like rain, um, you want it to be able to get out. And the water in the reservoir is about 1,500 gallons. I left it a foot below the top so that I could put the insulation in the top to seal it thermally a little bit better. And so that means I've got about 1,500 gallons, which is probably three days worth of heat if I were to heat it up to 160. Right now it's heated up to about 80 degrees and climbing. I've only had the water in there two days now and I've been running the boiler a lot extra to be able to heat that up. And the house is plenty warm. And so that's what's up. So next steps are to insulate the walls with uh, fiberglass and radiant barrier and then build a deck on top and once I have the deck on top then I'll be able to load the wood chips by driving the wheelbarrow right up onto the top deck and then shoveling them into the uh, barrel wood chip feed. So that's where things are at now. It's running well, heating the house for the last month or so and I'll talk to you again soon.